Today I want to show you that everything is hackable, uh, especially games, uh, when you have the proper skill. And yeah, I'm an Unreal Engine developer um, for years now, and also I'm programming in C. Um, uh, yeah, so. Um, when you know the engine, you uh, could hack any game. Um, especially when you know C. Um, most of the dudes that are writing these uh, private servers like Neonite or whatever they are called, uh, um, Era Neonite Labin, whatever, Swift, uh, I guess there are just developers that are trying to exploit the game itself and don't have the proper knowledge of the engine. So when you have the proper knowledge of the engine you could uh, reproduce and launch a dedicated server for the game. And uh, that what is uh, Rift and the other private servers doing. There, there are Unreal Engine developers in this team. They are they're knowing what they're doing and that's why the dedicated servers, private servers of them are working. So if you want to hack a game that is not longer supported, like our shit old version of uh, Fortnite, like 2014 Fortnite, then you have to know the engine. And the engine is under the engine. Uh, for 2014 Fortnite, uh, it's 4.12. Then and every source code of the engine and the whole source code of the engine is available. So you could rewrite a dedicated server and recreate matchmaking, recreate the whole API and yes so in the later days the API of Fortnite was hosted on HeroCup. HeroCup is a um, service that are hosting you the API um, and yeah so I want to go through a DLL that I have found on GitHub from some dude I will give the credits in the description below um, and explain how he has written these things, things because all of this shit was done by either decompiling or looking through the config files of the game or the content so later uh, Later in these days, later, what? Uh, back in the days, um, Fortnite were packaged using no pack files and no IO store because no IO store was invented like Unreal Engine 5 or so, or 4.27. So there were only pack store. And pack store has, um, can be encrypted or not. But the, are uh, this old for this old for Fortnite version has no pack store, and when you're not using pack store, the pack the content inside of your game are just getting cooked. Cooked means that um, the editor starts the packaging process, creates all the binaries for you, and goes all through all of the content, every single asset file, textures, blueprints, scripting files, everything, and looking into this. And deciding okay I don't need this this and this and what I mean by this is all of the things that the editor uh, needs to open this file and properly edit this so to answer the question is it possible to open you asset files that are already cooked no it's not possible um, for blueprints not but um, I have seen some uh, walkthroughs from, from some dude that is there where he um, uncook textures, materials and 3D models. No, not materials. I guess materials are possible, but it's very hard. Um, but blueprints are not. Uh, so, all of the assets are cooked. Um, you can see that. These are U asset files, but when I try to load it into the Unreal Engine, it won't work. I don't have to show it. You have to believe me. Uh, you can also try that. Package some project with no pack file, pack files enabled, and just move your content inside of a fresh Unreal Engine project. It won't show up. Um, so, 
Now we're going through some uh, DLS stuff. I want to show you now. Um, yeah. So this is the DLL that the dude has written, and the most of the interesting stuff happens in the UE4 header file because this header file emulates, in quotes, the engine behavior or some of the engine behavior, like the TOA, the F string, and whatever the F name and some of the uh, objects. The U object is the most important class um, in the Unreal Engine because it's a uh, class that every other class inherits from. The A actor or whatever. Everything inherits from it. Uh, there are some exceptions, but I would say everything. So, 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 so. Um, and there are some interesting functions then here. Find offset and find U object. These functions are most uh, are used the most in this DLL file because they are finding with the G objects variable that is some sort of variable that holds some information or uh, references to other things where you can from this variable you can access everything I would say and these functions are the most important ones. Uh, there are also utils that are initializing the console like the con console in Unreal Engine are, is the thing when you uh, clicking on the button left next to the one, like the, the the little house, and on top of that is the little circle thing. You know what I mean. Um, that is the console that is here initializing, but the most of the things uh, that are interesting are the offsets. These are the offsets. Um, function references, they are referencing some functions, some variables, and some yeah integer variables. And they, these variables are just existing into in the source code. Um, so they are uh, getting the a variable, the reference of the variable, and then they, they can set this variable whenever they like it. Um, hooks, I want to go through that uh, because I don't know. <laughs> and um, this is the most interesting one because here are um, some functions that are uh, getting called by um, Fortnite itself. So this hook is hook. Uh, this DLL is hooking into the Fortnite behavior and overwriting the uh, behavior of um, of some things. I would say the control uh, control clouds update function, for example, uh, is is a whole bigger. So there, I guess there are. Uh, some in the original function there are some some uh, API calls and whatever, but here are just uh, here the um, the uh, functions are just getting the reference from the um, from the find your object function and then processing this event and calling this. Also here open llama. This is the when you click the left mouse button when you open the llama. Yeah, and how do I reference some of these assets? Uh, how how does it work? Um, and I want to show you by going through the engine. So um, the referencing of some uh, of these functions is um, are working uh, like this. Uh, I have the test level and I have a test light in here. So. Uh, I want to reference when I just want to write an exploit or see a, a DLL file that is changing, for example, the light color of this. Of this, um, all I have to do is getting the find object thing, and then call and the path of that would be. Uh, let me open Visual Studio Code to show you that. A path would be point light, and then slash game. Um, slash test for the level because um, the content folder is then when the game is packaged the slash game folder and then test dot test dot pre resistant level uh, I have spelled that wrong here and then dot test light c under, uh, underscore c underscore zero um, that is the instance reference for of that that would be just the, um, the reference of the object without instance and here are the instance reference, uh, but uh, here, here is the instance reference. So persistent level means that the current le I, I want to access the current level. Test dot test means that I want to access the uh, the file and then the 
object, uh, the instance of this level, and then I want to access the per resistant level, so the current opened level, and then I want to access the test light. And then I would be able to, with some manipulation, I, I can't go through that because I never done that, but you can just then change the color where, when setting something like equals uh, no, zero, zero x f f f whatever um zero x f f f that would be now the color right so um color in hexadecimal um for that that would uh, that that's very simple normally but then when the game uh, when a game gets bigger and bigger and bigger you have to write all of this shit so and now I want to show you um, how to use this DLL. Um, this is not a tutorial how to hack Fortnite. This is just for educational purposes. Okay. So all you need is the Extreme Injector, the Fort Alpha DLL, uh, Fiddler, Classic. I use Classic um, because it's it's for me better. And then um, some auto responder rules. Um, I have it in here that is responding with the profile zero word info storefront and an authentication token. Um, yeah, and you need the Laven server. Um, I have a modified version of the Laven server, so everything works for me properly. Um, okay, to launch all of this, um, we just First, we have to select our map for us. That is, uh, that's that's looking nice, Travis. So we're getting in. We're just hopping into the content, searching for maps, and then like I don't know, um, go into. Uh, do, 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 do. I can. The front end. You can look at the front end yourself. The the whole menu. Th well, uh, thanks to the DLL, the whole menu is working. But I want to just show you the um. Uh, like a zone um, I want to show you the grassland the grassland is cool I love the map so uh, just uh, copy the copy the name of this uh, why is that working oh, okay now uh, copy the name of this and then go into the config folder default engine in R and then um, I have some commented out here with the semicolon and then you then you have to um, game default map you have to go to uh, set game slash maps slash then slash um, zones yeah slash zones um, zones and then the map grassland so now the um, game would load up the temperate grassland um, map you can then just close that out and then you uh, have to start the laven server laven server and then uh, start you have to install some uh, npm nodes, uh, npm um, packages, and whatever. And then we have this server running. Um, then you have activate uh, have to activate Fiddler. Fiddler is pointing this address, the uh, login token function, whatever, to this. Um, so then would it? Uh, and this is all. So now you can just launch the um, the. Uh, the game with the filler proxy batch file. Uh, this the content of that are is just Fortnite client whatever proxy and then the proxy uh, of that fiddler. So fiddler is just uh, is this is the um, address to fiddler. So eight 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 is the part and then uh, some some shit here. I don't know. That's for the Epic Games launcher originally. And then you can just launch that shit up. Then you see that the console is coming up. 
so now we are in the um, menu at the first launch of the game uh, when you uh, the game launch takes a while and um, you have to um, look out that you are while the game launches the game stays focused so when you don't do that you won't be able to go into this text box um this is very this is very important and now i no fuck and you don't uh, and don't click into the game just stay in the ui now i have to restart the game so now we're back um uh just w when you're ready um you have to open the extreme injector. Um, we have it here, and I also have the console here. So I now click on inject, and then it says, "Okay, now log in." Um, some of this won't work when you're doing these this um, when you're doing this in um, the game, when you're doing this in the lobby or the um, in. For, the, the map that is default loaded then it, there won't be any errors and now you just can input some shit and it will work and now you are in the game uh, just wait a little bit uh, until the uh, menu loads up this um, also takes a while and now you're in 2014 for 14 Fortnite Alpha um, now to the explanation why all of this works. Um, some dude that is an... I don't know how he does has done this, but he has written some US file that this game as uh, that the Fortnite game accepts. I guess it's just uh, he downloaded um, some old version of Fort, uh, of the engine, like the 4.13 engine, not the source code, just the launchable 4.13. And then put, um, and then has written some um, some U asset files. These U asset files um, are referenced in the default game ENI, and this I'm um, no, not game engine ENI. Um, this is the in game mode C, and um, the and some character reference. I can show you these assets. These assets are in this route in game actor and in game game mode so the S uh, actor is not referenced just the in game mode c and then um the in game mode actor are referenced by the in game mode u asset so these are the both the these files are needed to do all this um playing so when you want to play this um the um idea of the video was just how to um, uh, to show you guys how to make a, how to hack any game and no not how to make the fortnite 2014 uh, playable but i showed it anyway um yeah that was it for the video guys um i guess don't do that bye